What's up, Saiyan Army? So in today's workout, we're doing 270 pounds. Well, we attempted to. We only got two reps here, so what I did was I dropped the weight for the next set, and we ended up going doing 265 pounds for sets of three. So I made an Instagram post about a few days ago talking about the hyperbolic time chamber. And for those of you guys who don't know what the hyperbolic time chamber is, it's basically a little capsule that Goku and Vegeta used to train in. What you can do in the capsule is you can change gravity. So you can make it 10 times Earth's gravity, gravity 20 times. So it's basically like everything's heavier. You're increasing gravity. Also, the other cool part about the time chamber is for every day you spend in there, it's equivalent, equivalent to a year on Earth. So for me, training for 10 years, all I would only have to go in there for 10 days and I would come out looking like this instead of doing this for 10 years. And the gym is our hyperbolic time chamber. The only difference is, is instead of changing gravity, we change the weights, therefore increasing gravity. And instead of taking, stealing time from us and losing time, we add years to life by getting you healthy. Food for thought. So let's talk to talk about the workout right now. Sorry about all the cars going by. 265 pounds. The last set I misgrooved, only got two reps. You, as you saw in the second rep, I just dropped it straight down, um, which is, I have no idea why I did that. Every other rep, you'll see I take a deep breath, push it into my core, do the rep, exhale the top. Again, and I repeat for every single rep. I treat every rep like it's my first rep just to keep everything nice and tight and I'm not bouncing. Bouncing is another thing I would change on my incline bench press. I saw on some um, reps I was bouncing it off my upper chest a little bit, so I just gotta work my strength back up. Um, my overhead press is getting better. My incline bench press, I still need to work it, work its way up. As you guys know, I was dealing with some shoulder impingement, so I stepped away from it. And then I went back and I started doing dumbbell incline press, incline bench press. And then the dumbbell started getting too light, so now I'm doing incline bench press like on a regular bench with the barbell. All right. So there we did some behind the neck shoulder presses. Um, I'm adding those into my routine here and there. I just like the way they feel. I have the mobility to do them. Um, yeah. Next, we're doing pull-ups. So there's three different ways I like to do my pull-ups. The first way is strict, and this is normally done body weight where I angle my toes out and I focus on the contraction at the top and I keep it perfect form. I do those nice and slowly, really feeling the contraction. The second way I do my pull-ups is weighted like this where I hold the contraction at the top and I really squeeze my lats and let it out nice and slow. So as you, as you can see on every rep, I was pausing. The third way I like to do my pull-ups is YOLO style, meaning I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to, it's a weighted pull-up, and I'm trying to just you do as much weight as, I, as possible, and I'm just getting it up as best as I can, even if it's using some biceps and momentum or whatnot. Um, but I'm always feeling my lats contract. That's the main thing. Even if your form isn't perfect, you're always focusing on that muscle and always building that mind-muscle connection, all right? So, next exercise, we did these weird pull-downs. I rarely do these, but when I do do them, I like to do them Tarzan style, meaning one after the other. Like, I don't know, I feel like Tarzan when I'm doing this, like I'm swinging from branches or something. Um, these feel really good on your lower lats and just like your mid-back. It feel really good. I throw these in once in a while. It's a cool way to hit the back from different angles and whatnot. As you guys know, back's one of those um, muscles where you can hit it from a lot of different angles to stimulate different areas of the back. So I had those once in a while. I think someone was just on the T-bar row, which is what I initially wanted to do. Next, these are new. Oh no, these aren't new. These are just seated um, dumbbell curls. The new one that I wanted to show you guys, which I thought was in this clip, was incline dumbbell curls or incline hammer curls, but you twist at the top. So you hammer curl it up and you supinate right at the top. You unsupinate and hammer it, let it come back down with thumbs up style or like a hammer curl. So it's like a hammer curl with a twist. I showed that on my Instagram, I think like a week ago or something. 
So definitely try that out if you guys haven't. Next, we decided to mess with this football bar our gym has. I've never used it before. And to be honest, I didn't really like the way it felt. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say about that. Um, I'm, I don't know. I used to love to do close grip bench press and stuff like that, but I don't know. I just don't like, it doesn't feel right anymore for me. Um, even this football bar didn't feel that great. So probably won't be doing it again, but it's okay. We gave it a try and it, that's all it is about. Just because I do something a certain way doesn't mean you have to do things exactly the same way. Do whatever feels best for you. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Strength and honor. Get your ass in that hyperbolic time chamber. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!